this, oh God. Come into our service today. Help us to lift your name up and magnify you, oh God. You have been so good to us, and we want to exalt your name together. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Amen. Anybody here know that we serve a mighty God? Oh, anybody here know that our God is awesome? Amen. And our God is stronger than anybody. Oh, and he will supply everything that we need. Amen. Amen. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Brother Buddy, what a mighty God we serve. Amen. Come on, let's praise him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, sing with me. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. 
him in Christ God in the flesh. Jesus is on the throne. Somebody say praise God. Amen. Amen. He lives. And I like that song that says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Future and a hope. Oh, somebody ought to just thank God for his goodness and his mercy on today. Amen. Oh, we are so, we are so blessed on today. Amen. Blessed because God saw fit to wake us up this morning and I don't know about you, but I'm glad I got a mindset to want to serve God. Amen. And now, you know, every believer, amen, amen, that you have the spirit of God living on the inside of you. God's spirit wants you to trust him with your life. Amen. And walk by the spirit. So you won't fulfill the lusts and desires of the flesh. Anybody here know they got victory? Amen. Anybody who know God has brought them out of something, has delivered them from something, has made a way possible, has defeated the enemy in their life, has given them a confident assurance that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Oh, somebody ought to say, bless his name this morning. Amen. Amen. We have the, the, the victory. Amen. And the victory is because of our faith. Amen? Amen. Amen. And you know, it's it, 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 the word of God tells us that when someone comes to faith, that the angels in heaven rejoice. Amen? And we got two young ladies this morning, praise God, that uh, have given their life to Christ and want to be baptized in the water and we're praying that they'll be baptized also by the spirit of God. Amen. Somebody say amen in the house. Amen. God said that he's come that we'll be baptized with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Amen. So we believe in uh, water baptism and spiritual baptism in these babies. Uh, I call them babies, but they're growing fast, Brother Shante. Pastor Shante, they're growing fast. Amen. 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 That is that little Hannah right there? Little yeah. Hannah. That's you that but girl, you got that beautiful smile. I love that smile. Amen. Hannah got the courage to be baptized today. Hannah, you love Jesus? Huh? Yeah. Do you love Jesus? Can I hear amen? Amen. 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 So we're gonna uh uh, but but hit me, take me to the water. Take me to the water. Church under the, the ministry of Billy Pierce Jr. We have been taught biblically that salvation comes by your confession. Amen? Amen. Amen. So this little lady, maybe about two or three weeks ago, and I felt so bad because I was in such a rush. I had so many things to do. And Sister Lissa was talking with Red Ross. I said, we got to go. She said, I was trying to tell you. I want her to tell you. I'm like, what is it? She can tell me in the car. You know what I mean? And this baby said, I want to accept Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yes, yes. And making that decision saying that I may not get everything right, 
but I know that Jesus made provision for me. Amen. And I make an intentional commitment to say, hey, I'm going to try to do things Jesus' way. Mm. And when I fall short, I'm covered by the blood. Amen? Amen. 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 So she's already was saved three weeks ago. Amen. But the baptism is the confession part. Yeah. Now I'm going to do the same thing Jesus did. Because you know Jesus was baptized. Yeah. Not because he needed to be baptized, yeah. but because yeah. he wanted to be an example to what we should do. Mm. So when she goes under the water, she's dying to her old self. And when yeah. she raises up, she's coming up brand new. Yeah. And she says she's going to make that commitment to be like Jesus. <laughs> Amen? Amen. 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 You know, have you made a decision on your own will to accept Jesus Christ? Yes. That was a strong. Yes. <laughs> that was strong. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And from this day forward, do you intend to lead a new life with Jesus? Yes. Yeah, she, really, she enjoying this. Amen. Amen. And how do you know that when Jesus comes back, that you are saved and you're going to heaven? Lord God, love the world, and he gave his only begotten son. Ever believe in him? Yes. Shall not perish, uh -huh. but will have everlasting life. Oh, right Amen. Amen. She knows she got eternal life. Amen. She got the answer. If I'm going to heaven, Woo! she got the answer. Amen. Thank you. Praise baby. God. Amen. Amen. But by the authority Amen. of Jesus Christ in the state of Michigan, I baptize you in the name of the Father the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, buddy. Accepted Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And she Amen. Be bold Amen. In her faith. Amen. Amen. You nervous? <laughs> Amen. Well, according to uh, Jesus Christ and your own confession, right? Because you decided to accept that Jesus Christ on your own will. Yes. No one forced you to do this? No. Amen. Amen. She said she ain't doing it because her parents said so. She said, I want to do this. Amen. You want to do this? Yes. yes. Amen. And when you get baptized, and after today, do you intend to lead a new life with Jesus Christ? Yes. Amen. Yeah. You got to get stronger in that like your sister gets stronger. <laughs> you know, amen. Amen. And when Jesus comes back... How do you know that you're going to heaven? God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, and whoever believes in him will not perish. And 
Amen. Amen. Hey, I'll tell you this. If you ever fall short and you got to get back with Jesus, don't stop believing. Don't Amen. stop believing. Don't Amen. stop Amen. believing. Amen. 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 God is with you when you're down, when you're up, when you're sideways. Amen. If you're in the ditch, he'll pull you out. Amen. You just got to keep on believing. Amen? Amen. 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 Y'all ain't been in the ditch. I have. Amen. Amen. I can raise you right there for that ditch. Amen. You made that ditch comfortable. Amen. <laughs> well, by the power and authority of Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Also in this church family, we want to encourage our young people in the faith. Amen. Amen. We want to encourage them to keep on following and serving the Lord because God is so good. Oh, can I get a witness in the house? Amen. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Amen. As we look, want to uh, look at the word of God today before the praise team comes. Amen. If you got your Bibles handy. Amen. The word of the Lord and the book of Revelation. Praise God. Revelation chapter 19. Amen. We want to encourage you to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on to eternal life. And we definitely, somebody say definitely, definitely, definitely have the victory. Amen. In Christ. And uh, as we look at the word of God this morning, amen, the revelator, the apostle John, amen, wrote this prophecy, amen, to explain uh, the coming of our Lord and Savior, the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen, and to give a warning to those who don't follow him and also give hope to believers that we are on the winning side. Oh, somebody say amen. 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 That no matter how tough this life may get, no matter how many trials, tribulations that you have to deal with, amen, your hope can always be firm that Christ is coming soon. Amen. amen. And he wants you to be ready. He wants you to be prepared. He wants you to have hope in him Returning as he came the first time through the prophetic word. Amen. They waited for him centuries, waited, 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 and he finally came 
to his own, but his own didn't receive him because they wasn't ready. Amen? And, and, and the first time he came to bring salvation, the next time he's coming to set up his kingdom. Amen? As the righteous judge and kick the devil out. Amen? I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for the devil to be a lockdown. So I say, Amen? Amen. Permanent lockdown. Praise God. So anyway, Revelation chapter 19. Amen. Amen. And I want to start on verse number 11 uh, talking about the, the, the king, King Jesus. Amen. The king uh, eternal. Praise God. King Jesus. Um, and I'll be reading from the New International Version. Praise God and uh, 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 God wants us to live with the authority that he gave us because of our relationship with Christ, that kingdom living based on kingdom authority. Amen? So you don't have to be scared about anything because you have authority and you have a privilege if you are a child of God. Amen? Amen. amen. Anybody ever, let me get to the word, amen, before I say this. Uh, verse 11. 11, 11. Um, I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called faithful and true. With justice, he judges and wages war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his head are many crimes. He has a name written on him that no one knows but he himself. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood and his name is the word of God. Somebody say word of God. Word of God. The armies of heaven were following him riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. And coming out of his mouth is a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He threads a wine press of fury of the wrath of God Almighty on his robe and on his thigh, and he has this name written, King of King and Lord of Lords. Amen? Amen. Thank God for the reading of his word, and we are already blessed. Amen? Amen? Amen. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Because Jesus is on the throne, he reigns, he's ruled, and he's coming back. Amen? And he has all power in his hand. He has that authority. Praise team, let's go ahead and praise him. Amen.
So God, Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you would just bless us today with your awesome presence, oh God. Help us to have ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to us this morning, oh God. Prepare our hearts and minds to receive what you have for us, oh God, as we come to worship you, oh God. Lord, we ask you right now in the name of your Son, Jesus, we plead the blood, oh God, to just cover us. Cover us with mercy and grace on today, oh God. Forgive us of our sins, Father. Wash us. Make us whiter than snow, oh God. Give us courage and conviction and wisdom to walk before you upright, oh God. Oh, we love you on today. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name, Father. Bless your holy name. Amen, 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 amen. I hope you have come to worship and give God glory and 
praise today. Amen. Knowing that if you are a follower of Christ, that you have been accepted in his beloved. Amen. And not only that, you are secure in him. Amen. God wants you to know that you are safe in his arm, protected from all danger. Amen. And that you are important, significant to him. Praise God. Sometimes the enemy, uh, I'm reminded of a story. Brother Buddy, you know the story of the three pigs? Yes, sir. And the wolf? Yes, sir. Amen. And the wolf would threaten them. Amen. I'm going to huff and puff and blow your house down. Somebody say, I know about the wolf. Amen. That wolf, that predator in their life. We got a predator in our life that wants to huff and puff. We're talking about blowing our house down. And if you and if your house is built on faith in Jesus Christ, you don't have to worry about the threat of the enemy, oh God, because your faith is bigger than the enemy. So I say, amen. As a matter of fact, you need to rebuke the enemy. Go ahead and blow. My house is built on the solid rock. You can blow all you want to, amen. And when you run out of breath, amen, the Lord is going to take care of you. Amen. You can talk to the devil and let him know that you're standing on Christ. Amen. And because you are standing on Christ, you have authority that was given unto you by Christ and the provision that was made by him shedding his blood on the cross. The first time Jesus came, he came as a lamb. Behold, John said, the lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Make sure your sin is dealt with by placing your trust in Christ and accepting his forgiveness based on the sacrifice that he made when he came the first time, he that knew no sin became sin for us. Anybody believe that? So that we could be made righteous by faith and the provision that he did on the cross. Amen? Amen. Amen. For God so loved the world, he gave. Praise God. But that's not the rest of the story. The rest of the story is he's coming back again. Amen? And he's coming as the lion of the tribe of Judah, the king of kings, and the Lord of lords to set up his kingdom. Amen? And he's coming as judge. You know, we preach all the time. Amen. And sometimes we get out of balance about the love of God, how God loves folk. And he does. Amen. And how God is so merciful. And he is. Amen. But he's also a just God. Amen. I've been, I've been, yes, I don't know if Reverend Ross remember this, but we, uh, 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 there was a preacher in town and he preached this sermon and it was called this title right here. And I'm going to preach it. Amen. I just, Lord, got to give me the go ahead. What in hell do you want? <laughs> what? Yeah. Now, hold on. I don't get it twisted now. I didn't say what in the, right? I didn't say that. I just said, what in hell do you want? And if you knew what hell was offering you, you wouldn't accept it. Amen. Because you don't want what hell has for you. But thank God that God is a just God, a God of justice, a God who's coming to set up his kingdom on this earth and set up his reign on this earth for a thousand years. And the devil is on short notice because his time is running out. But he wants to huff and puff like he's going to be here eternally running things. Amen? But moving time is coming for the devil because the word of God says the faithful and true witness is coming to set up his kingdom and every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus is Lord. Yes. Are y'all with me? So it's important that we know the prophetic calendar and knowing that Christ is going to return and like the ten bridesmen, be prepared. There were five that were wise 
And there were five that were foolish. The foolish ones didn't have no oil in their lamps. Amen? Signifying they were, that they wasn't walking by the spirit. They were going through the motions walking by the flesh. You don't want to be caught not ready for when the Lord comes. Amen? Amen? And our affirmation is that Christ is coming soon, so you need to be ready. Where are you at? I don't know, but I know he's coming soon because the word of God said so. Somebody say amen in the house. Amen. amen. And throughout the prophetic scripture, throughout the word of God, amen, we find out that the warning is he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. And we need to be ready, be ready, be ready. Somebody say amen in the house. Amen? Amen. amen. So... Uh, as we look at this uh, warning about being prepared for the second coming of the Lord. No man knows the day nor the hour. Are you with me? But God says I'm coming a uh, faithful and true witness. So we got to be ready. Somebody say be ready. Be ready because he's coming. All right, bro, buddy, come on. Give me one. What, you got a hot number? Yes, sir. Y'all got a hot number back there? Yeah. Uh, amen. Hey, but buddy, you got a hot number? Yes, sir. You ain't tired, are you? No. I was watching you, man. <laughs> you was dead. I'm mad at you. You was trying. You was, no, you was going to die. Amen. <laughs> hey, so I'm going to feel some of that Sunday morning. Yes. <laughs>
And God wants you to know that anybody that is on the Lord's side when the world is troubling you, God is already already informed and already know about it. Amen? And I love what the Word of God talks about in the book of 2 uh, Thessalonians, that first chapter. Oh, somebody ought to say amen in the house. It tells us that God is a just God. That means that God is going to right all wrongs. Amen. Somebody say praise God. Amen. God is going to right all wrongs and he's going to uh, 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 fix it. Amen. He's going to turn it around. And those that come against you, those that are causing you stress, amen, and trying to disrupt your flow in Christ, they are defeated foes. And the Lord wants you to know that. Somebody say amen. 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 God says he's going to pay them back. I don't know about y'all, but I used to like paying people back. Oh, <laughs> uh, y'all act like y'all don't know nothing about the big payback. Amen. Amen. You to the Lord, I want vengeance to be mine. Amen. And I love to pay people back. Praise God. But God is going to pay some folk back. Amen. You need to let folk know uh, God going to get you. Amen. Because the word of God says he's just. Look at 2 Thessalonians, that first chapter, verse number 6. Amen. God is just. God going to do what's right. God going to have your back. God going to cover for you. Amen. Oh, somebody ought to have faith. Anybody got a friend that you know that friend got your back? Amen. Yeah. Amen. That you can call on that friend. Amen. Whatever the, whatever the, whatever the situation is, they tell you when you're wrong, but they still got your back. And if somebody mess with you, that friend is so close, that person is really messing with them, and they don't even know it. Amen? God is just, we belong to him. God got our back. You can trust him for having your back. And that's why scripture says, as God is for me, who can be against me? Now, you know, I, I don't know about y'all. I'm, I'm trying to, amen, go back to the day when I used to thought I could fight. Amen. Amen. And about to fight and, and, and it's it, it kind of talking, but it's knowing that you can fight. Amen. And, and it's really, and it's really, and it's really good when you know that you can whoop the person who's messing with you. Amen. And you get to that point where you say, that's it. Okay. I'm going to knock you out. But I tell you, you know what I'm talking about? That you hit now. You don't cross. You, you know what we say? Hey, this don't cross this line. You cross this line, it's on. You can talk all you want to over on that other side of the line. But don't cross the line. Amen? Because when you cross the line, it's on. No more talking. Right? And when you got some backup behind you, amen? When I had Uncle Bebop behind me, I already knew he had a knife. He cut somebody for his, for his nephew. Are you with me? That, hey, but that, that gave me the little... Go get him, Nene. Go get him. Right? I had back up. Right? Don't cross the line, man. For real. See, when you got back up, if you're serving God, you love the Lord. You gave your life to Christ. You got back up. And God is for you. And you don't have to talk a lot of junk, but you sure don't have to take none. But when the devil come in like a flood, the Bible says, God will lift up a stand. What's the standard? The faithful and true witness, the word of God. We know that he's coming. Oh, somebody ought to say amen in the house. We know the Lord. See, some people act like they don't know the Lord got their back, right? The devil is huffing and puffing, right? And, but when you know that you know that you know, all right, talk all that stuff, what you got. You don't know what I got. Amen? You coming here running your mouth. You don't know what I got back in me up. Or somebody ought to say amen. amen. Hey, when I was in the military, they made me believe that United States was the biggest, baddest country there was. So even when we went on somebody else's territory, we be we from the United States. What? Don't make me call in the artillery up in this piece. Amen? Are you with me? United States is something else. Japanese, oh, y'all got all these people. We just go drop the 
atomic bomb on somebody. Ruthless. Amen? God is on your side. God wants you to have faith. God is just. That's what the scripture says. Somebody say, look what the word say. Come on, y'all. They say, look what the word say. Look. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. God is just. What that mean? God will take care of you. If he promised to take care of you, he's just. He ain't going back on this word. Amen? He's that friend that sticks closer than a brother. When I call my boy and I say, hey, man, we got to go do this. He like, all right, let's go. Right? Let's do it. What's wrong? Oh, it's time. Amen. God is just. God going to do what he says he's going to do. When trouble come, when you're dealing in this world, trouble going to come. When you standing up for right, amen, the enemy going to try to get you to be afraid, to be scared, to have a lack of faith, to not stand on the promises of God. But if you know who God is, God is a just God. That means he's going to do exactly what he says he's going to do. He's always going to be on time. He's always going to have your back. He's always going to work it out for the good. Yes. Nothing can separate yes. you from his love. If God is for you, who can be against you? God has all the armies in heaven, and he sent his best so that you can have life. He won't hold nothing back. Amen. Amen. Now, boy, you're talking about having some little... Spiritual pride. I, you know what? Sometimes when I was one of them hoods, I'd be like, I wish they would mess with me. Man, he bad. The birthday. I, I had the nerve think I'm bad. And I would be like, I wish they would. I wouldn't say mess with me. Amen. I had some strong language back then. Amen. Who, who, who got the nerve to mess with me? They don't know who they messing with. And God is just. And you are his child. So what demon in hell got the nerve to try to mess with you? Why are you trembling when God is just? And the word said, he going to pay. Look what it said. He will pay back trouble to those who trouble you. God going to give them the Payback. See, now you start bragging on God. Hey, I hate to tell you this, brother. Amen. Amen. You, you messing with the wrong person, man. Because God said you mess with him, God go pay you back trouble for what you started. As a matter of fact, I got to pray for you because you don't want the hand of God to fall on your head. Amen. Because God don't play. What the hell do you want? You see, it's coming to a close. I don't care about Trumpism. I'm talking about Jesusism. Amen? It ain't about Republican and Democrat. It's about Christ. I'm standing for Christ. I'm standing for the Lord. I am on the Lord's side. And if I represent God, when they trouble me, God don't trouble them. And don't nobody want to mess with God. Are you with me? Oh, somebody say he's coming again. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I need to let y'all know. Yep, he's a God of love. He's a God of mercy. He want to forgive. But when he come back, he going to be the lion and he going to bite somebody. Yeah. Every one of those that didn't bow down and confess the Lord Jesus is too late. Judgment is coming to their house. Amen. And God is going to deal with them because they rejected him. And he has a fire that's going to burn forever. Amen. You know, look what it says. He said he go pay back trouble to those who trouble you and give relief. Oh, Lord, thank you. Who are trouble? He going to give relief. Somebody give God a hand clap for relief. Amen. Anybody ever been through something? Amen. And you got some relief. I had heartburn this week. Amen. And I was looking for some relief. Some Pepto. Some Nocturne. Some rope. Something. I need relief, Brother Daniel. Are you with me? And you see, 
Whatever you're going through, if you trust in God, he'll give you relief. Yes, he will. He won't put on you more than you bear. But he needs you to speak faith to your situation and exhibit confidence and trust in him. Lord, I'm shaking, but you got me. You got my back, Lord. You a refuge in time of trouble. You a rock when I'm weary, Lord. Y'all hear that affirmation? I know my, I, I don't get, I got to try to not get so caught up in my feelings. All right, somebody know what I'm talking about. You know your feelings will mess you up. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 See, my feelings will look at the enemy. Big dude, right? But they, I ain't messing with that big dude. He's too big, right? But David said, I'm going to walk by faith. When that Goliath comes, I'm going to say, man, Goliath, what's wrong with you? You messing with God. I'm representing him. How dare you mess with God, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Goliath got mad and said, David, man, you little puny chump. David said, that's all right. God got something for you. Mm -hmm. Amen? God done showed me something. God done prepared me to be able to speak to my enemies and walk by faith, and God ain't gonna let my faith fail. Anybody here know God yeah. won't let your yeah. faith fail? Yeah. God won't let your faith fall to the ground. You put your trust and confidence in Him. And David came from a tribe that trained the tribe of Benjamin. They were trained, Brother Ross, as sling shots. Mm -hmm. They were trained in slinging rocks. See, God done trained you in something. He already, you, you an expert in it, you don't even know about it. Amen? And God done trained you and prepared you. And the enemy go try to get you to fight like he wants you to fight. Uh-uh. No, no, no. I'm not fighting in flesh and blood. I'm going to fight in the spirit. Amen? I'm going to fight with the shield of faith. I'm going to fight with prayer. Amen? I'm going to fight with truth. Oh, somebody ought to say amen. I'm going to fight with the helmet of salvation. I'm going to fight with the gospel. I'm going to fight with the word of God. Yes, I'm going to know that God is for me. And I'm going to lift up the standard that God told me because he's faithful and true. So come on with your huffing and puffing. Come on. Come on. Keep on. Because you're going to blow till you get tired. And then God going to get you. But I want you, and I'm going to tell you beforehand, because when he do whoop you, you're going to know where that whooping coming from. Uh, somebody ought to say amen. amen. Right? And then when they come back, I, I told you. I told you don't want to mess with God's people, man. That's the last thing you want to do is mess with God's people. You think I'm scared? I'm not scared of you. Amen. And you have to do what you got to do. But let me tell you something. God, you trouble me. God said he go trouble you. Boy, you think somebody want that on their head? Because God know how to trouble you when you think you bad. He get you out by yourself and say, uh-uh. Amen? Because God don't play around. Anybody know God will get you? Anybody know that? Yes, sir. Anybody know God, God just got their attention? They were just going on their way. Thought they were doing their own thing. And all of a sudden, God said, Skrr! Hold up. Wait a minute. It's time for you to back that up. It's time for you to change your course. It's time for you to recognize that I'm the sovereign ruler of the universe and I control you because I am your Lord. But all that did was put you in a place where God wanted you to be. Somebody say amen in the house. Amen. So when we look at this uh, 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 word of God and, and I'm almost done preaching uh, right now. I, I'm so glad, brother buddy, that uh, that the Lord loves me. Uh, anybody here know that the Lord loves you? Uh, won't you give him a hand clap of praise? Uh, anybody here know that God loves you so much that he was willing uh, to die uh, upon Calvary's cross? Uh, can I get a witness in the house? Uh, the Lord is Trouble you, uh, God will turn it around uh, and trouble them. Uh, Come the Lord, uh, He is 
just, uh, and he sits on the throne, uh, and he's coming back, uh, and every, uh, every, uh, every, uh, every, uh, he is gonna bow, uh, and every tongue uh, is gonna confess uh, that Jesus, uh, Jesus, Jesus uh, is Lord. Uh, won't you say amen? Uh, won't you say amen? see him through a glass darkly but one day we're going to see him face to face and when we see him we want him to say well done thou good and faithful servant you know folk don't want to be faithful but they don't want to be faithful to their spouse amen they got I couldn't believe this brother Ross you can go sign up on the internet to have adultery with somebody you can go sign up to be unfaithful. Amen? Ain't that crazy? Yes, it is. Fidelity ain't one of the things we virtue anymore. You can do your thing with anybody and it's all right. Let me tell you something. It ain't all right with God. Amen? God is faithful and he's just. Yep, he loves you. But he ain't going to put up with your mess. And when you trust him, those that trouble you, you better warn them. Hey, I'm sorry, man, hold up. Because I'm scared. But I'm more scared for you than I am for myself what you say. Because if you trouble me, God going to trouble you. Put that on somebody. Sister Nicole, you hear me on that? Yes, I do. You, you, <laughs> listen, listen. Cause, cause, listen, I want to fight you so bad. But I'm going to back off. Because my God said vengeance is him. And if you trouble me, you going to get, <laughs> you, you don't know what you asking for. Because he going to do you worse. Did you ever think about doing me, brother? Amen? Amen. Yay. That's why Paul said, the momentary light affliction that I'm dealing with now is not worthy to be compared to the glory that God's going to reveal in us in Christ Jesus. What God has for you, what the world has can't compare to. Hallelujah. That's why you need to be ready when he comes back. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's why you need to affirm. I know you're coming, Lord. Help me to be ready. Help me to speak faith. Help me to live faith. Help me to affirm what I believe. Help me to put it out in the atmosphere. Help me when fear comes to combat that fear with the shield of faith. Help me to quench those darts of the enemy with a word of empowerment. From Christ. Amen. Because the demons tremble when they hear the word. Jesus is the word. If you can't say nothing else, just say Jesus. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's power in that name. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, uh, they be looking at what is he talking crap? <laughs> you are you supposed to be shaking in your book? All you saying is Jesus. Don't let the Lord trouble you for troubling me. Amen. Don't let God get you. What you think you're going to do? God is bigger and stronger than you. You can believe that. And you think you're going to get away? You ain't getting away and you can't get by because God is just. Amen? Amen? Somebody say thank God for the word. Amen. 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 Look what it says. You are troubled? The Lord Jesus. First Thessalonians, let me finish it. He going to pay back those who trouble you and give relief to those who are troubled as well. Look what it says. The, this will happen when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven in a blazing fire with his powerful angels. He will punish those who do not know God and do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. He will punish them with everlasting destruction and shut out from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of the might on the day when he comes to be glorified in his holy in his holy people and to be marveled among all of those who have believed this includes you because you believe our testimony you are on the winning side Thank you. testify I'm on the Lord's side he's coming and he's going to set it straight and he's going to be the troublemaker when he come next time. Because those that ain't ready, those that are lost, going to be judged with fire. What in the hell? Oops, excuse me, Lord. What in hell do you want? That's the question. Amen?
Amen. 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 Father God, we thank you for grace. Come on, somebody praise God for the word. Amen. Amen. Be ready, be ready, be ready. He's coming. Amen. Live in light of his coming. Live your faith in light of the Lord is coming. It might not seem that he's coming, but trust what his word says. He's going to come like a thief in the night. Amen. He might have stole something and didn't get caught. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about being slick. <laughs> you stole it. Amen. And you didn't get caught. You got away with it. Amen. You was a thief. And you got away with it. And you know, you start getting away with it, you start getting bolder. Oh, Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Amen. Yeah. But, but they, I used to just walk in the store. Myers on airport road. I knew they had security. I knew I thought I knew where everybody was. Sister Nicole. Hey, I had to go in there and take all the bike parts, brother. Dad. I don't know how I fit stuff in. I don't know how. And I just walk out the store like, like that stuff was my stuff. Hey, Amen. I got so bold I would dare the security try to catch me. Hey, Amen. I had a skate route and everything. Hey, Amen. If he come, y'all block him and just let me run, man. Play like. Hey, Amen. Just bold, right? Like it's my stuff. See, with the Lord, you got to be ready. Because you don't know when he's coming. But even more than that, you don't know how the enemy's going to come. Amen? So you got to be ready to have that standard ready when that enemy come. Whatever he, however he going to come. The Lord going to show you when he's coming. But you just got to be ready to stand firm in faith. Amen? Look, man, I'm sorry. But the, you don't want God troubling you, brother. Matter of fact, you need to be saved. Boy, they looking at you. They threatening you. You talk about how they need to be saved. They be like, something wrong with her. Something wrong with him. He try to preach to me, and I'm getting ready to kill him. Amen. I'm preaching. Amen. Because the word got power. Are you with me? Let us stand. Amen. Amen. Father, we receive this, this word, oh God. We receive this word by faith that Christ is coming, oh God. We receive the affirmation that your kingdom come and your will be done, oh God. Lord, you said in your word that you're coming quickly. Lord, let us not lose heart according to your scripture. But even though things around us are decaying, even though we're getting older, oh God, Lord, our inner man is being renewed day by day. Help us to speak faith and show love, oh God. Lord, help us to know that what we're going through is light. In his work and glory in us, the eternal weight, far beyond any comparison what folk can do, oh God. Lord, help us not to look at things that are seen, they're temporal. But help us, oh God, to have eyes of faith. So that, Lord, things that are we don't see, those things hold that weight of eternity, oh God. Help us to hold on to those things, oh God. Because our citizenship is in heaven. And we're waiting for you to come. And as they said in the 22nd chapter of the book of Revelation, Maranatha, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Manifest yourself in our life and let our grace, let your grace be sufficient for us. If you don't know Christ as your Savior, he loves you and he wants you to turn to him. It's so simple. It's complex, but it's simple. It's acknowledging that God there is a God and acknowledging that because there is a God you have a standard a holy standard set by him and that holy standard is the law of God you shall not lie, steal, cheat you shall not uh, 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 have idol anything before him you shall not murder amen, you shall not covet what other people have, praise God. You should honor your mother and your father. Just those 10, 10 commandments, all of us have fell short some way. Amen? I don't know about y'all, but I used to use the Lord's name in vain all the time. Amen. Sometimes you get ready. Amen. Say something. You slip. Oh, Lord, and you use his name in vain. All of us have been there. The Bible makes it plain. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's nobody righteous, not one of us. Praise God. But the Lord laid on Jesus the iniquity of us all. And the complex formula that God has set to be simple. If you believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ and confess with your mouth, God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Heads bowed, eyes closed. This is between you and God. Amen.
please confess your sin. Father, forgive me. Ask him to forgive you. Father, forgive me of my sins. Amen. I believe that Jesus Christ is your son, the son of God, and that he died for my sins, that he was placed on the cross. They buried him in a grave, but he rose on the third day, and I received him, Jesus Christ, as my personal Savior. Now, Lord, help me. Help me to live a life pleasing to you. Help me, oh God, to turn from sin. I repent and, 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 and turn to you, my righteous one. Help me, Holy Spirit. Fill me. Fill me with hope. Fill me with power. Fill me with your anointing. Lord, help me to be your child. Help me to be your disciple. Help me to be your father. I receive your blessing, your promise by faith. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 If you have confessed that prayer, you mean it with your heart, God has saved you. Praise God. While you're standing, get your offering ready, please. Get your offering. Amen. Lord, we bring you the sacrifice of praise. We also sacrifice our offering right now before you, oh God. Lord, we ask your blessing. We ask your blessing on our giving this morning, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity to give, oh God. We want to sow bountifully, oh God, so we will reap bountifully. We want to sow into your work, into your kingdom, oh God. Thank you for those that are under the sound of my voice, those that are out uh, uh, on Facebook, wherever you're at, oh God. We pray that you would just touch their heart. There's ways to give, amen. There's ways to give online, praise God, tithely, uh, UPCC for Christ, give and fly. There's ways to, to share with us, we thank God for you. Uh, Tied there, United People's Community Church, give a fly, United People's Community Church. Also, Cash App, Cash Sign, UBCC, Cash for Christ. Thank you for your faithfulness, all of you that have sown to our ministry. Amen. We believe in doing kingdom work. We believe in lifting up the name of Christ. Father, as you bless this offering, as you bless those that give and a uh, uh, desire to share a portion of what you bless them with. We ask for blessings upon their offering, their giving, their time, their talent, their treasure, some 30, 60, and 100 fold according to your promise, oh God. Those that desire to give and have not, we pray that you would touch their hearts, oh God, and mind and help us to be cheerful. We thank you for uh, Hannah and, and Natalie, oh God, being baptized uh, in your name, confessing you, oh God, with their mouth and believing in their heart, oh God, that you have saved them. We pray, oh God, that put a hedge of protection around those babies. Oh God, help them to grow strong in the faith and be used to upbuild your kingdom. Right now, oh God, give them the wisdom to honor their parents, oh God. And with that promise, oh God, you give them longevity and strength so they'll be able to be disciples and kingdom builders, oh God. Lord, bless our church family as we're getting ready to go into a new season. Oh, God, starting our service at 10 o'clock next week, Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus to help us. Oh, God, I know people don't even want to get out of bed at 1030, but we're speaking faith, 10 o'clock, oh, God. And this Wednesday, we're starting prayer at 630 and Bible study uh, and worship and pray service at 7. Oh, God, we just pray that you would just bless us. In this endeavor, oh God, we're, we're teaching your word, oh God. We're praying, oh God, that you would send those that are hungry and thirsty for your word and help us collectively to be, to study, to show ourselves approved, workmen that need, not need to be ashamed, right? Everybody in the truth. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Somebody give God a hand clap of praise. Come on, give him a hand clap of praise. And tell him thank you. While you're standing, let's just raise our right hand to God. Amen. Sister Liz is coming around offering. Make sure you put your offering in. Amen. Repeat this after me. Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength my strength and my redeemer. And my redeemer. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. We love you. Praise God. Amen. <laughs>